Here's a few tips for playing an ORF instrument. First, you want to make sure you're positioned comfortably, have the instrument either on the floor while you're se seated or on a stand at a comfortable height for standing play. Make sure that you're holding the mallet between your index finger and your thumb like this and not placing your index finger on top of the mallet like this because that will result in restricting the mallet. We want to have it be more free-flowing. So just a relaxed grip on the mallet. Keep in mind that the different instruments, soprano, alto, and bass, all use different types of mallets. And in the parapole line, we use yellow for the altos, blue for the sopranos, and red for the bass instruments. So striking the bars, you want to use a light touch. You don't have to play them really loud. In fact, they sound really sweet at a medium volume. Then, if you'd like to set up a certain type of scale, you can remove the bars that you're not going to be using, of course. And this is one of the nice features of all the ORF instruments. When you do remove bars, take care to lift them from the post side or the peg side carefully. Lift them off the post side first so you don't possibly bend the posts. And then place them in a safe place and you can replace them when you're finished. Most of the instruments, in fact all of the instruments, come with alternative bars for the B's, which you can turn into a B flat, and the F's, which you could make into an F sharp. And those are always stored in the box that's attached to the instrument, or in the case of the glockenspiel, sometimes inside the instrument. And I hope you enjoy playing your ORF instruments in your ensembles.